Good morning guys, I am running out the door and I'm going to show you what I'm having for breakfast, lunch, and snack today. First of all, for breakfast, I am having coffee with fat-free half and half. I'm having three tablespoons of the fat-free half and half for one smart point. And that noise is my coffee in the background brewing. I'm also having my egg wrap for breakfast. The egg wrap is one smart point. It has an Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap on the bottom. One craft fat-free single slice for zero smart points. The Olay Wrap is one smart point. Then I have three slices of Oscar Mayer Turkey Breast for zero smart points. Two slices of Land of Frost Canadian Bacon for zero smart points. A third a cup of All Whites Egg Whites for zero smart points and some sliced sun-dried tomatoes for zero smart points. So the wrap altogether is one smart point for the wrap itself. I'm going to be dipping this in my Mexican flavored tomato sauce for zero smart points. So breakfast altogether is two smart points today. Then for lunch, I'm going to be having a turkey wrap. Um, the turkey wrap is one smart point. Starts with the Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap for one smart point. On that, I have a Kraft Fat-Free Singles for zero smart points. I have five slices of the Oscar Mayer Turkey Meat for zero smart points, a teaspoon of relish for zero smart points, some mustard for zero smart points, and some sun-dried tomatoes for zero smart points. On top of that, I will be adding um, sliced pear, and I will slice that and add it when I get to work. So the turkey wrap altogether will be one smart point. With the wrap, I'm having my pumpkin soup that I made this weekend. The pumpkin soup is zero smart points. On top of the soup, I'm going to crunch in some Olay tortilla chips. Um, five tortilla chips is one third of a tortilla, so zero smart points. So lunch altogether is one smart point. For snack, I am having my sugar-free Jello. Um, this is cherry lime jello sugar-free jello for zero smart points with about a cup of sliced strawberries for zero smart points so that is zero and then a banana um, i will probably have the jello and banana at work and then the grapes i will have in the car on the way home so snacks are zero so breakfast lunch and snack i've got two for breakfast one for lunch and zero for snack that is a really low point day. I feel like I'm missing something. Huh. I feel like I'm missing something, but that's what I have written down. So we'll see how well this ties me over. If I do get hungry, I have snacks in my desk at work, and I'll let you know if that happens. But so far, four points until dinner. Okay, wait, I can't add because that is three points until dinner. <laughs> okay, three. Got it. Well, hello, guys, and happy Wednesday. I can't believe that it's only Wednesday. I woke up this morning and I literally thought it was Thursday. I was hoping it was Thursday. Like this week is going by so slow, even though I'm so busy at home, I'm so busy at work. I thought it would speed by and Friday vacation would be here before you know it, but of course not. Anyway, it's only Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I'm feeling rather cute in my size four jeans. Size four kind of cheers me up a little and my little faux fur vest yeah cute um anyway the attorneys are out at a meeting so i thought i would take advantage of this opportunity to sit in the car and have a little chat with y'all so um i was thinking about my meals today and yes four points seems very very low but um I think I've said it in the past, um, but I really enjoy eating the foods that I eat right now. So it's not even necessarily about the points, but I love my egg wrap. I love my oatmeal. I love my turkey wrap, my pumpkin soup, and I love fruit. So, um, and that jello with the strawberries kind of took me way back, made me feel like I was a kid again. So that was really good too. So it's not, um, I think a while ago I said it would be amazing if I could figure out my breakfast, lunch, and snack to the point where I'm at six points 
before dinner and now all of a sudden I'm at three so I don't know how that happened but I'm not objecting and you can bet I will probably make up the points later if not at dinner then with sangria <laughs> um, actually the sangria is kind of saving me a little too because the sangria is so much less in points than my regular wine so that's kind of been a little bit of an eye-opener and I will probably continue to make more sangria when this is out because it's lower in points. Um, dinner tonight will be pork tenderloin and a baked potato, so no skimping there. Um, anyway, also just, I mean, it's so I was saying that it's not necessarily just about the points, but also that I really just like to eat these foods. Um, so my egg wrap is super filling. I've already... Like when I took that earlier this week, I realized that I did not need any fruit or anything else to go with it because it's so filling. My turkey wrap, I've said that in the past, that one's really filling too. Um, when I put the fruit on it and just all the, the protein, I think the turkey inside of it actually is very filling. So that's a very filling wrap. And then when I had the jello and strawberries yesterday, I realized that was very filling because it's like an entire, almost, I don't think it's a full two cups. So it's like almost a cup of strawberries and a cup of sugar-free jello. So that's pretty filling too. So I think I'll be okay today. Um, and a couple of fruit snacks, I should be fine, but we will see. Um, one of my goals is to see how low points I can eat but still say still stay satisfied so um, today I guess is a challenge to see if I'll be satisfied and I will let you guys know I have had so far just my egg wrap which I had about an hour ago and I feel great I feel fine so things are well there I also did not weigh this morning which was actually kind of freeing and refreshing <laughs> so there's that. I want to try and not weigh, like obviously when I'm on vacation, there's no scale. Um, so I won't be weighing for sure when I'm there. I want to try and not weigh until, for sure until we get back from vacation. So that's at least two weeks. By the time we get back, it'll be two and a half weeks. Um, but I want to try and wait until my next Weight Watchers meeting. And that will be three weeks. So I'm sure that I can do it. I don't think, I, I'm gonna be really curious to know what I am um, by the time we get back from vacation, but my concern is that, I almost don't wanna say it out loud. My concern is that if I go over 147, then um, because the meeting will be the first meeting of the month, then I'll have to pay. So honestly, it's not very likely because I know I'm going to go over on points, but I'm not going to go over 12 pounds worth. So if I do, oh Lord, just shoot me now. I really cannot see gaining 12 pounds, um, even with a few splurges and the restaurant meals and the wine I'll be having, but I'm also going to be working out. I'm going to be running still. So I'm going to just suck it up then. And I'm going to just say right now, I'm not going to weigh until my next Weight Watchers meeting, which is three weeks from now. So this will be a true test to see. And I don't know if you guys know, but I am a daily weigher. Um, so I feel like this will be very freeing, but also a little bit nerve wracking at the same time. So it's going to be really freeing until I get back from my vacation. And then I'll be like, oh my gosh, what have I done? But I'm going to wait and then um, I'll just go prepared. If I have to pay, then I have to pay. I'm pretty sure that's a very slim chance. So that's my plan for not weighing in. Um, I'm also going today, uh, hopefully, it could take quite a bit of time, but what I wanna do today is actually look at the calories. I wanna go back probably at least three weeks and maybe four. I wanna compare my calories versus my points because I still think it's odd that I had points left over this week and yet my weight was up. So it could, I mean, it might have nothing to do with points or calories. It might just be, you know, a sodium thing or a hormonal thing. Um, but I'm curious to see how my points stack up against my calories because if my calories 
are up, even when my points are lower, then I know I might be eating too many zero points foods and I'll need to find a way to account for those. So um, I don't think that's it because I still don't feel, I think that fruit would be the number one culprit, um, but I still don't feel that I eat that much fruit or that I overeat fruit. Um, so like at the most I have maybe three fruits a day. So I don't feel that's overeating fruit, um, but maybe if it's in combination with other zero points items, it may be adding up to be too much. Um, so that's mainly why I wanna take a look at the calories and see how the calories compare um, and see if my calories are going up. But that requires going into the Weight Watchers app and literally going into every single food for every single day because they don't have a daily total. If you go into the foods that you've tracked, the foods themselves, then you get a calorie total and I think some other nutritional stats, but it's gonna take some time. So I kinda wanna do that and just kinda see where that lies. Um, also today, I wanna try and at least uh, pre-track the first restaurant that I know I'll be eating at on Friday. Um, so I've got my meals planned as far as what I'm going to take with me for traveling on the plane, um, drinks. I, I've got all of that planned and I know what restaurant I'm gonna be at. I also know which meal I'm gonna eat first. First thing I'm gonna have is shrimp and grits. That just sounds so delicious to me. The bad thing is, is that I believe it's a little cheesy and a little buttery, so haven't looked up the points yet, um, but I also may share this meal with Eddie. So we've talked about maybe trying to share a lot of items, number one, um, to cut costs, number two, to cut calories, and number three, so that we can try more foods. Yeah. So we're gonna try and share as many things as possible. I don't know how that's gonna work out because a lot of times we choose different foods to eat. Um, so, but if we're trying just a big variety, then I think it'll be okay. Um, so that's something else I want to do today is look up calories at least in the first restaurant that I know we're going to. I have not thought far enough. I have no idea what restaurants we're going to do after that and e if I'm even going to be able to know ahead of time. So ah, that kind of freaks me out a little bit. I want to try to pre-plan the night before the restaurants we're going to be at for the next day. That's my goal. Um, but I'm just like so unfamiliar with Orlando and Disney World and where we're going to be. Um, I don't know how that's going to work out. There's just so many options and where are we going to be and what are we going to feel like eating? <laughs> Very out of my comfort zone. So if you guys want to see how this all works out, stay tuned. This is a little cliffhanger. Anyway, um, so tonight I... Today at lunch, I'm doing my walking group with my work people, and tonight after work, I'm running my first uh, group run with the Tri Team, the Disney Tri Team. Um, so I haven't I haven't run in a running group for probably at least two years. So I'm not used to running with people. Um, everybody's pretty in in most running groups. Everybody's pretty good about. Um, waiting for people and trying to stay together and nobody left behind. Um, there's usually faster groups and slower groups and so you kind of find a pace to be with someone or if you're not necessarily running with someone then you know there's someone just a little bit ahead of you, a little bit behind you so um, that you don't get lost. But I have not run in a group for several years. I have not run this route that these guys are going to do. Um, and I also have to change super fast and get over there. It's, um, I want to say it's across the street, but it's a little further than that. It's, it's more like, it's maybe a, um, maybe a block, block and a half. Um, but I need to, I get off work at 6 and they start running at 6.15. So I'm going to try to change before 6 in the bathroom, but I can only do that if my boss leaves early. 
So it's just going to be a little time crunch thing and then just running with new people and a new route and I'm kind of excited. The weather's great though. The weather is perfect for this because it's like 60s. Um, as long as it doesn't rain, it's been a little rainy the past couple of days. So, but even then I think it would be kind of refreshing. So I'm kind of excited, but kind of nervous. I am listening to a book right now and one of the main characters is a distance runner and um, she did a description about just how it feels to just run and just let your legs take over and enjoy the scenery and smell the freshness and watch watch things go by and just feel your body and your energy and the power in your legs and be appreciative for what your body is doing and what your legs can do. And that just sounded so refreshing to me. Like that just makes me want to go outside and run just to run. And I haven't done that for a long time because number one, I've been inside on the treadmill for months. Um, not just because of the weather, but because I'm really, I've been really focused on trying to increase my speed. Um, and I like to keep track of the mileage and the speed. So, um, I've been on the treadmill doing that, but I'm always very cognizant of my speed and always either trying to go as fast as I can, or I need to, if I'm having a slow day, then I don't want to go slower than this speed so I'm always very aware of that and that description just made me want to just get outside and just run just to feel how awesome it is just to run so maybe I'll get to experience that tonight if I'm not too nervous and I'm not worried about keeping up with people it might just be fun just to run just to get outside and run and um, kind of let go of any expectations and not worry about keeping up with people and just enjoy running for a change so that could be good I may be looking forward to that a little bit but anyway um, that's really all just wanted to catch up with you guys because I was running super late this morning and just busy at work and the rain outside and just haven't had a chance to really sit down and chat about things so I appreciate all of your guys's feedback so much I love reading your comments and all of your helpful advice as far as maybe why I might be up a couple pounds why is my stomach still hurt um, just very encouraging feedback and I very much appreciate that I try to answer everyone so if you have any questions for me or any suggestions um, or any low point food ideas, anything, um, talk to me in the comments and I will talk back to you. <laughs> um, thank you also for all of the new subscribers. I love that you guys are enjoying this channel. Thank you so much. It's just such a good feeling to um, be able to help other people and encourage people and hopefully you guys along your journey can feel as awesome as I do right now. So all of the ups and downs and the worries about the scale and the food and everything, you know what, it's worth it. It's totally worth it because I feel the best now that I have in years. I am 44, I run faster than ever, I'm in a size four, which I don't even, I don't even know if I was a four in high school. I don't think so. Um, so, I mean, I just, I feel great. I feel like I look great. I'm a grandma of four at 44. That's so weird to say. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel feel better now than I have in years. So if I can help anybody else feel as great as I do now, then yes, I want to do it. So, so thank you so much, all of you for watching and um, thanks for your awesome comments. Let me know if you have any questions. I am going to go back into work and maybe take a look at those um, calories and work on the restaurant and try to get, I've got like Mm, about a pile and a half of files that I really need to get off my desk by tomorrow. So I have two days to um, just get as much work done as possible too. So there is that. Anyway, I will touch base with you guys later. I don't know if I'll be doing my afternoon walk break or not. It depends on the rain. So um, I may just check in with you guys after my run with the tri-team. So I also have to decide how far I'm running because they do 
three, four, or five mile runs. So my insane self wants to say go five miles because this is the week before your vacation and you need to push it. That's why I push it on Monday. Um, my other self tells me maybe you should just do four miles so that you can just do enough but still get a feel for running with the group and running outside and all that good stuff. So I'll probably just do four miles. Plus if I do four miles, then it's pretty much guaranteed I won't be the very last one back. Unless those five mile people are really, really fast. And they could be. So I'm going to probably do four miles and then I will head back to the gym here to do the rower and to shower and I'll see you guys after that. Bye. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just ran 4.4 miles at eight minute, 30 second miles outside. That is really good. That was really hard. 4.4 miles, eight minutes and 30 seconds per mile. That means my eight minute per mile goal is in reach for the try four months yes my total uh my total run tonight was 5.6 miles and um totally have sweat sweat dripping in my eyes anyway i need to get in do 10 minutes on the rower hit the shower and head home i am beat beat Okay, 15 minutes on the rower, done. And I am just so exhausted. It's um, 7.43. I'm not gonna make it home until 8.30. I need to go to bed by 9.30. I have so much to do at home. Work has been so super busy and I still have so much to do tomorrow, my last day. I'm starting to get overwhelmed. I have so much to do, just so much to do. I had to do 15 minutes on the rower though because I feel like I need to make the most of my time working out today and tomorrow because I know Friday I can't work out and then my days working out the next couple weeks will be just when I can, so. I'm just exhausted. I am exhausted. I am going to shower. I'm going to head home. And I will show you what we're having for dinner when I get there. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm just tired. Uh, okay, guys, it is 9 o'clock. I am finally home and finally ready for dinner. First of all, all the food that I took today was very filling. I was completely satisfied. I ate everything but the grapes. Um, so, yeah, everything was very satisfying. I wonder if I may be overeating my snacks. I'm not sure because um, I had no snacks today except for the jello and then the banana I actually ate on the way home. So,. Anyway, food for thought. That was three smart points and it kept me satisfied all day. Now I'm about to eat this yumminess. Um, so what we have here is this is the same um, Hormel, what is it? Hormel peppercorn pork tenderloin. It's another pork tenderloin that we got, um, same brand, and we cooked that up tonight. This is 5.5 ounces for three smart points. And then I have a baked potato. I actually weighed it this time and it's less than what I've been counting. So this is 5.7 ounces of baked potato for four smart points. I have two tablespoons of this fat-free sour cream on top for one smart point. And then I have this chopped salad, which is just chopped cucumber and celery with about a teaspoon of this sesame ginger marinade on top for zero smart points. So that is three plus four plus one, that's eight smart points for this meat and potatoes dinner. Looks way more satisfying than my dinner last night. <laughs> and then I have my two glasses of wine. Tonight I have the um, cranberry lemon sangria. So one eight ounce glass is five smart points. 
So 10 points in wine, and this again, I already forgot, four, five, six, seven, eight points. So that's dinner tonight. And that is probably gonna be it for me tonight. I'm gonna to sign off because I'm super tired and I just need to get a couple things done and get to bed. So thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.